What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the College Loop Reaction Show, where guess what? Auburn football got their quarterback in Peyton Thorne. As of just out of 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, Peyton Thorne has announced his commitment to come play for the Auburn Tigers. And guess what? This is your starting quarterback for the 2023 season. That's as simple as that, just because what Peyton Thorne offers to this Auburn team is a premier passer. Uh, he's a, and we talked about him last show where it has Peyton Thorne is a better passer than Casey Thompson. And I think he also gives you a little bit of a dual threat ability that people don't really expect out of him. Now this is coming a couple of days after TJ Finley announced his uh, interest to tra into the transfer portal. And just as soon as he got here, I think Peyton Thorne immediately took that number one Jersey uh, per his Twitter at least. But yeah, Auburn football has their quarterback and Peyton Thorne. And if you look at his stats, last season, kind of a down year for him. 19 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, totaling 2,600 passing yards. But if you look at the 2021 season, a season where he did have a premier running back in Kenneth Walker the third, he threw for 3,240 passing yards, 27 touchdowns to only 10 interceptions. And he was one of the premier uh, quarterbacks in college football that season. And there's nothing to really say that he couldn't replicate that in year one under Hugh Freeze. And with two years of eligibility, he does set up Auburn very good uh, as Walker White gets a year under uh, Hugh Freeze's belt before we get Walker White's era. But yeah, this is Auburn's quarterback. Uh, if you look at it from top to bottom, it, it's a great pickup all around. You get a guy that you've been wanting for the longest time. Uh, you have a guy who's a veteran presence, uh, something that we don't have in our quarterback room as we speak. Uh, and Well, I guess right now as we speak, we do. But we have a dude, a, a, a quarterback, who can make throws and can move out of the pocket. Something that we've talked about with uh, that both quarterbacks, Robbie Ashford and Holden Gurner, have been struggling with through the latter part of spring practice. But this does enter the question, do we lose any more quarterbacks to the transfer portal? Uh, and probably not right now because the portal just closed, but how, how soon can we expect to see like a quarterback like Holden Gurner transfer out since he doesn't have to wait till he graduates like Robbie Ashford would have to? But yeah, overall, this is a great pickup. Uh, and it offers, if Auburn is truly done in the transfer portal quite yet, I don't believe so. Because if you look at it from that point of view, Auburn does have a wide receiver target now in the portal. Uh, former, I can't remember if he's a five-star, but former uh, Michigan State wide receiver and leading wide receiver for the 2022 season, Keon Coleman has also entered the transfer portal around the same time that his star quarterback did as well. And Keon Coleman uh, led Michigan State in receiving yards and a six foot four. Uh, yeah, he's a he's a great wide receiver. And if he wants to follow his quarterback, I'm sure Hugh Freeze would allow it. But yeah, uh, it's it just speculation. There's I don't, I don't believe I've heard any connection to Keon Coleman to Auburn. But I'm sure with Peyton Thorne committing to Auburn, it does free up a little bit of leeway for Coleman to at least visit. But yeah, uh, just going through it, from what he offers to this team, veteran presence behind the offensive line, and you set him up for success. I think he freezes already built up an offensive line better than any offensive line that he's seen at Michigan State. And it, you have to look at it from in the uh, in the question or the schedule. The games Auburn now has a chance to win more so later uh, because of a quarterback. <coughs> Excuse me. Looking at it like that, I mean, for, we were Auburn was going four and zero in non con no matter what, but with a veteran presence that traveling to Cal seems like a little bit easier. In your 50-50 games like A and M. Ole Miss and Arkansas are Auburn's 50-50 games that can go either way. I think with Peyton Thorne at quarterback, it kind of sways a little bit more to Auburn's favor in those games. Uh, and, and you got to think that. And, and this actually helps Auburn's case because we talked about it, how Robbie Ashford probably isn't one of the best quarterbacks in the SEC. He has a lot to work on. Uh, and as much of a Robbie Ashford truther as I have been, I've known that. He, he has a lot to work on. But with Peyton Thorne in, you have a guy who Robbie Ashford can sit behind until he needs to play. 
and, and if that means that Auburn's up by a lot or Peyton Thorne were to go down with injury, Robbie Ashford is a is a great backup quarterback for Peyton Thorne. And, and look at, looking at those games, you have – so A&M is a 50-50 game. You go against Connor Wegman, who is, a, uh, I believe, a true sophomore uh, this season. And I believe Peyton Thorne had the edge over him. Same thing with – if you look at Ole Miss, I think Peyton Thorne's probably a better quarterback than any of the quarterbacks on – Ole Miss's roster, and yeah, Arkansas has the edge at quarterback, but I think talent-wise, Auburn has that overall. So with Peyton Thorne, I think it gives you the edge over Arkansas, too. And if you look at it like that, uh, that gives Auburn three more wins uh, to a season that, you know, per ESPN FBI, Auburn expected to go five and seven. That gives you eight and four uh, with game – with or nine and three with losses to, I believe, Georgia, LSU, and Alabama. So, yeah, Peyton Thorne offers Auburn a better chance at winning those games. And i got to be honest with you, I think out of the two schools in the state of Alabama, I think Auburn probably made the bigger grab at quarterback. I think he made a better grab at quarterback. Uh, and whether or not that gives you the edge in the Iron Bowl, I don't know. I don't want to throw my myself under the bus in case nothing goes right. But looking at it like that, I think you get a guy who at least gives you a top – seven top six quarterback in the sec which isn't bad let me go ahead and preface that that's not bad the quarterbacks in the sec are loaded i mean looking from top to bottom you got spencer rattler who is looking to have a i don't want to say a bounce back season but a improved season upon last year you have joe milton kj jefferson Jaden daniels I, I mean the list goes on and on with, with sec quarterbacks and i think if peyton thorne right now as it stands is probably in that top 50% of SEC quarterbacks in the S, uh, as right now with a lot of room to go up. And I think if Auburn were to get his star wide receiver in Keon Coleman, it really solidifies that wide receiver core as a core that needs to be respected. Uh, and I think people were very much un- underrating what Auburn wide, Auburn wide receiver core could be this season, especially with Nick Mardiner and Camden Brown. And if you get Keon Coleman, you get a six foot four presence as well. So you go three deep on outside receivers, unless you want to just throw one of them in in the slot. Uh, but I mean, that really helps your case o- overall. And uh, yeah, I think this is a quarterback that Auburn has been. It, it sounds like Auburn has been really keyed in on getting Peyton Thorne, no matter what, uh, per like other sources uh brian stoltz uh tweeted out that this has been he freezes guy since i guess he heard whispers of him entering the portal it sounded like uh that's at least what it came off with 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 stoltz's twitter uh post i don't know if he backtracked that or not uh but overall this is the guy for auburn this is the starting quarterback for the auburn tigers and uh, i guess my question to y'all in the comments uh how many games as Auburn win in 2023 with Peyton Thorne at quarterback. And, you know, go ahead. Give me your 2023 projected stat line for Peyton Thorne as well. But, yeah, I mean, overall, it looks like he was hammered in on Auburn ever since he entered the portal. It looked like that was his go-to location. Uh, I mean, he I don't think he ever took a visit. Uh, as soon as he entered the portal, I believe Hugh Freeze got right to work on getting him to the Plains and – he succeeded. He got another Yahtzee. And there is your quarterback for the 2023 season, possibly the 2024 season as well, unless Walker White is just next level in uh, spring camp. Well, that being said, like I said in the comments, let me know how many games Auburn's going to win under with Peyton Thorne at quarterback and what is his projected stat line for you. Uh, and I'm Dylan Lark at you boy the tank on Twitter. If you're watching, because you are, this is a YouTube exclusive. It's just right, right, right there at you boy the tank at Y A B O I the tank. Make sure to go follow Harrison Tar at by Harrison Tar on Twitter and Daniel Locke at Daniel J Locke. And of course, go follow the College Loop literally everywhere except for MySpace. We're not there yet. But with all that being said, it's been the College Loop reaction to Peyton Thorne committing to the Auburn Tigers. <laughs>